in in developmental biology there are two important terms the first one is induction and second one is competence so what is induction induction is a type of cell cell interactions by which one cell produce a signal and second cell accept that signal and perform some some particular function so interaction 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 of two or more cells or tissue because group of cell form a structure that is called tissue tissues of different different histories different histories and properties so different histories and properties because the cells uh, between which uh, this type of induction process occur these are different cells because suppose one cell produce a signal and second cell accept that signal means there are some different gene expressions occur different types of protein forms so they are physiologically different or maybe they are functionally different so properties is called is called induction so the process is called interaction the process of cell cell interactions is known as interaction so what is induction interactions of two or more cells or tissues of different histories and properties different histories and properties in a cells because the uh, the two cells suppose we take a two cells by in which the induction process occurred in the, the two cells are physiologically historically functionally different from each other now suppose this is a cell a this this is cell a a cell and there is another cell that is b cell a cell and b cell present in close proximity so this is close proximity as you can see now a cell produce some signal the signal is a type of protein this is a signal protein and this signal protein binds with the specific receptor that is present on b cell now this signal protein binds with this particular receptor and ultimately this b cell perform particular function so the signal which is produced by the a cell binds with the receptor of the b cell and there are some cell signaling cell signal cascade occur some mrnas form and ultimately the cell the b cell so some particular function this cell cell interaction is called induction process now in induction there are two important term we have to memorize that first 
इंड्यूस इंड्यूस एंड द सेकेंड वन इज रेस्पॉन्डर रेस्पॉन्डर सो वॉट इज इंड्यूसर एंड वॉट इज रेस्पॉन्डर एज इंड्यूसर एंड द क्लोज यू हैव टू रिमेंबर वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स दैट द सेल्स प्रेजेंट इन क्लोज प्रॉक्सिमिटी सो दीज सेल्स ए एंड बी सेल्स आर प्रेजेंट इन क्लोज प्रॉक्सिमिटी क्लोज क्लोज यू कैन से रेंज क्लोज क्लोज रेंज सो दीज आर प्रेजेंट इन क्लोज रेंज नाउ इंड्यूसर सो वॉट इज इंड्यूसर इंड्यूसर प्रोड्यूस इंड्यूसर प्रोड्यूस पैराक्लाइन फैक्टर सो वॉट इज द रोल ऑफ द इंड्यूसर इंड्यूसर प्रोड्यूस पैराक्राइन फैक्टर सो दिज ब्लू कलर प्रोटीन इज पैराक्राइन फैक्टर नाउ सेकेंड पॉइंट दिस पैराक्राइन फैक्टर फैक्टर सीक्रेटेड वेर द पैराक्राइन फैक्टर इज सीक्रेटेड एट एक्स्ट्रा सेलर स्पेस एंड इंफ्लुएंस नेवर सेल सो दिज पैराक्राइन फैक्टर सीक्रेटेड secreted where at extracellular space extracellular space and influence neighboring cell and influence neighbor cell that is a responder that is responder so inducer what is the role in this diagram a is a inducer and b is a responder a produces a signal this signal is a paracrine factor that binds with the receptor present on the responder so what is the role of the responder the responder accept accept signal accept signal and response to it one important things you have to remember that both every responder because all cells are not become responder there are some special features present for a specific ligand suppose both so responder now we have to uh, so second point is competence now we have to know that what is competence so competence one important thing that responder have responder have A responder have both receptor and not only receptor and another important thing is that ability responder have ability to respond because if responder only if responder has only receptor and it it unable to produce any response to that particular signal that particular signal this cell is not responder because responder 
have both ability to respond and receptor to respond to specific inductive signal that is secreted by inducer so responder have both receptor and ability to response to specific inductive signal now next what is competence so what is competence competence is the ability ability to respond ability to respond of cells or tissue to particular signal called competence so what is competence the ab you can say the ability of responder ability you can say the ability of responder is called as competence so the ability to respond of cells or tissue to particular signal called competence so a cell when a cell is called as a competence the two factor must present in responder the first is receptor and another is response ability to respond specific inductive signal this ability of responder to respond of inductive signal is called competence the ability the ability of responder you can say competence or ability to response of cells or tissue to particular signal which is produced by the induc inducers called as a competence